Hello everyone, welcome to our video about our face shields. Uh, what we want to do is make it easy for you to fabricate these for your local hospitals just as much as we have. Uh, basically the concept that we started out with here is that we wanted something that was robust, that was reusable, but it was also quick, simple, and cheap to manufacture and we think we found a perfect solution to the problem that the nation is facing. I want to tell a little bit about the particular parts of it. First of all, You've got your two acrylic arches, two separate pieces that are cut on the laser cutter flat and then uh, bent in an oven. These are bound by simple uh, O-rings. And then inside you've got a foam insert to keep particulate from falling in, in the case of a sneeze or whatever. Um, you got weather stripping along here for uh, comfortable wear on the forehead. In the back, you've got an elastic band, also again, held with, held with plastic tab and the O-rings. Um, you've got a simple sheet of plastic here for the face guard. And this entire thing runs for uh, under 50 cents per face shield. The Corel draw files include 20 acrylic strips that we will mold into the acrylic arches for the visor that are bound together but easily snap apart after you've completed the molding process. The laser cutter we are using is a Trotec Speedy 300, which uh, is an 80 watt, and the power settings that we use are 1.5 speed at 100 power. We want to extend our thanks to the good people at Lowe's Home Improvement Warehouse who have agreed to provide all of the plastic for our 5,000 face shields that we're producing for Stonerbrook University Hospital. All right, so uh, here we are getting ready to take the uh, sheet of plastic here and put it in the oven. We've got a simple form here. You've got uh, actually three, we'll show you in the picture, of plywood uh, forms here, front, middle, and back wrapped with foil. We've got, uh, half inch angle iron here on the bottom, relatively simple process to make. On the front piece and the last piece, there's a center hole marked and the entire thing drops in it. Uh, these are all held together with tabs. When we're lifting up this front one, it's separated unfortunately. So we have some gaff tape here just to hold it together. Um, not a problem. And now we're getting ready to go ahead and put it in the oven. Got the oven preheated to 320 and we're going to go ahead and slip it in. We're on the second shelf from the bottom. Most ovens are 18 inches deep. Go all the way back. You actually have to lift it up a little bit to get it up and over the lip. And then we're going to put it in for exactly two minutes. So uh, you can see in here you kind of got the Goldilocks Things coming out up top, it's separated. We're going to press that down. But here we go. And out. Uh, my first thing here is going to be to push down all the top pieces as much as possible. And Jeremy is going to be working on the outer part. Push in there. I come back here. And you can't be real gentle. You got to push and basically get everything pushed down. As long as you have everything molded within the first five seconds or so, you should be fine. After that, you're going to get it pretty stiff. That's right. At this point, it is basically done. Um, it's not coming out on its own. Everything is square. And um, we have pretty much a finished product. All right, we have here our, our, shortened, our, our shorter arch from a previous bake, our stack of arches from the, the current bake, a pre-cut foam piece, our stretch of elastic with the four O-rings already placed on the elastic and then our face shield. Simply unsnap the, the top arch, comes out pretty easily. The tabs are, are uh, kind of easy to find on the, the laser cut that we sent you. And these just match up like so. Insert the elastic through the little horseshoes here slides right through nice and easy and you insert it through both to get a good alignment just like that so there's a plastic tab that sticks through a slit in the elastic we match the first o-ring 
with the first divot there and stretch it around. Slides into place, we pull the elastic taut. Now we're ready to send on the second O-ring. We do the same process as the first. Right in there and slide it down in there in place. Repeat the same action on the other side. All right, so you see now that the tabs are holding the, the elastic in place, secured by the O-ring. So that elastic's not coming off. We just sort of stuff our, our foam into place here. Gets a nice squishy fit. Nothing can drop in on the doctors or, or nurses as they're working with patients. Align with the double-sided tape. Roll each direction. Press it on. We got ourselves oh, a completed face shield. So we're problem solvers, not YouTubers. We forgot the uh, adhesive strip here for, for comfort. Just insert that on the forehead edge. Just a strip of weather guard with an adhesive back. Get it in place. Peel. Now we got a nice comfy face shield for taking care of patients. Hope you understood everything that we have. And if you have any questions, we have our contact information down below this video, along with any of the instructions written out. So please uh, let us know what help we can give. And hopefully this will uh, be something that really helps fight the pandemic and provide the PPE that is so needed across our nation. Thanks for watching.